Sagittarius. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. Now I don't normally look on the bottom of the deck, but that card stuck, so I have to see. Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. The Queen of Pentacles didn't want to come with the rest of the deck. So, Sagittarius. The Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting right into it. The Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn energy, but it's also a very, so you could be on the cusp, it's a, a very hardworking, for me, um, mothering energy. She takes care of herself first so that she can take care of her home, of her family, of her business, of her employees, of her money, of her investments, of her land. Uh, the, the, the Queen of Pentacles for me is also, and I have to say this, um, it reminds me of my mother, who's a gardener, and my grandmother, who's got a Capricorn moon. Pisces sun, Capricorn moon is my grandmother, and she was an, a, an excellent gardener. So it, it almost makes me feel like, Sagittarius, do you need some grounding? Sagittarius, do you need to really just get your, take your shoes off and get your feet in the ground, on the sand, near the water, um, go for a walk in the grass? Is that what you need, Sagittarius? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at why that Queen of Pentacles made me take a look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, well, 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 Sagittarius. Is this why? Because that Queen of Pentacles in you, it could be a mother for some of you, as I mentioned both my mother and my grandmother. It could be. But this is generational wealth, Sagittarius, with the Ten of Pentacles. So I asked, why did the Queen stick to the table? Why did the Queen get me to look? Because you have got some, some cash dollars, some coins, not just in the bank, but these are values. This is what the Queen of Pentacles values. What do you, obviously, you value yourself, Sagittarius, obviously. What does each pentacle mean to you? And this is generation. I see three generations with this card. Now, for some of you Sagittarius, you're in what I call the sandwich generation. That is, you're taking care of your elderly parents or, or parents that are growing older. So you are taking care of the generation that created you, Sagittarius. And you're also taking care of the generation you created, thus being in the middle for some of you. And with that, you could be managing the um, wealth of your family business, of your family investments. Beautiful. This is a beautiful card to start off with, Sagittarius. Now, let's see what the crossing energies. The crossing energies is what helps or hinders you. Let's find out. The Nine of Pentacles. Sagittarius, are you sure this isn't a Capricorn read? Again, some of you are cuspers, right on that cusp of Sagittarius and Capricorn. Now, the Nine of Pentacles crossing this energy, that's exactly what helps you. You're independent. So you could be within a family uh, business that you are independent from, that you do your other things on the side. You could be, but you're managing it. You're helping. You're, you're, you're providing your expertise, your knowledge. You're investing for some of you, especially Sagittarius, really being tapped in to other realms, other worlds. You could really tap into good investments and say, hey, invest in here, invest in that, invest in this. And, and it's earning the Ten of Pentacles and keeping that generational wealth, you know, not just in the black, but you're, you're, you're abundant. Now, your higher self, justice justice this is truth balance this is libra so this is also libra energy is very social so you're making the right connections in the right fields with the right people it's as they say it's not what you know it's who you know in sagittarius you're taking that to the next level the level of wealth here for some of you you could have won in the court of law a big settlement for some of you. Now, focus and foundation is resting. So this sword, 
really is bring me my eyes up to this sword and the sword is down when the swords are up they're at the ready when they are down for me it signifies sacrifice so you could have and there's that sword right there Sagittarius you could be resting after a legal battle for some of you that really did pay off that's just for some of you now in the past the page of swords learning this is very much a student card she's curious but she's also very quick at learning how to use the internet for her benefit and it could be I go back to investments it could be learning how to invest and not needing a financial advisor or an investor that you're doing it yourself and look how young she is so you could have been investing from a very young age just kind of playing around and thinking hey look up what the, overnight what this how this grew so that's for some of you now in the future the night there you are that's your energy the knight of wands sagittarius energy charging forward with your wand that's your passion you could be passionate about the financial markets about investments how you see yourself the star you see yourself as shining you see yourself not just as hope maybe hope for the future Ooh. But this is seeing your abilities, seeing your magic, seeing your shine, and really taking action on that. You found out that you're good, let's say, with money, because the first two cards out is the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Boom. And I get the star. Wow. Sagittarius. How other people see you. Oh, my goodness. That is the magician. Yes, indeed. Aren't you, though? Sagittarius. It's out of the bag now, Sagittarius. We know your magic. We know, we see. If you have any Sagittarius in your life, whether it be Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising, I got three risings here. I got a whole, whole bunch of Sagittarius energy in this house. I'll tell you, and they are magic. They make things happen with their positive thoughts, their experience bands of minds their imaginations that just go hey i wonder if this could happen and then it does and they like they, they take note and go yeah yeah that's amazing that's how other people see you sagittarius and the hope and our fear this is a hope the hope you have the world in the palm of your hands you have your planning you've you've you have two paths that you can go and you've chosen a path you know that you hold the world at the palm of your hand you're looking into the future. You're really, literally looking into the next position, which is the potential outcome. And the potential outcome is the Seven of Wands. You have that wand, the choice that you made. And it might go against all others. But you're not one to follow the, the rest of them, Sagittarius. They're not one to just fall in line in lockstep. Let's go along with everyone else. No, that's not Sagittarius energy. No. You... You are the drummer, and you march to the beat of your own drum. And like the Pied Piper, people will follow you. Humanity, with this star card, will see what Sagittarius is doing, and how Sagittarius is abundant. And they'll want to say, how do I go about that, Sagittarius? <laughs> That's when you start your online courses as to how to. That's exactly... What? Just do, that's what you do, Sagittarius. That's probably what you're doing right now. So the energy that you may or may not be aware of, and I say this with a big smile on my face because I know you're aware of the Empress. Yes, 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 yes. Of course. You are birthing something. You are receptive to all opportunities. And you take action on those opportunities. Of course you do. This is Taurus energy. This is also Libra energy. Both zodiac signs are ruled by Venus. Venus is not just about love, as I am finding out. Venus is about abundance. Venus is about knowing your worth. Which is why both Taurus and Libra are ruled by Saint Venus. And again, I'm a novice. I am so excited. I am that page of sword when it comes to astrology. Now, for some of you, you are astrologers. You know what 
You know much more than I do. I'm just a novice. I'm, I'm learning. For those of you who are curious about astrology, about the science behind the magic, take a look. There's a lot of resources out there. Take a look. All right. Let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles for my Sagittarius. My sheath, the Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. Let's clarify this. What is this all about? Oh, ho, ho, ho. is this about a love? We got some majors on here, too. This is the lovers. The lovers. Gemini energy right here. This is really fun. It's like you're having fun in the markets. It's like you're having fun with your crypto. It's you're having fun. If you win some, you lose some. Ah, I can make it again. I can do it again. Losses are not even a thing for you, Sagittarius. And justice. Interesting. Let's go up to it. Again, I see finding balance. Maybe balance between work and family. Um, between family and friends. But this is also balancing out. Maybe the lovers, the choice that you have made. Have you chosen another to combine your magic with another magical being, right? Have you chosen yourself? Chosen, chosen, chosen yourself. Let's go up to this justice card because it's come up twice now. And this is your higher self. So when they're the same, I do have to say this, that this is your higher self saying, make sure that all your eyes are dotted and your T's are crossed, that you do everything legally by, by the law. That's, that's just for some of you. The King of Swords. This is knowledge. This is power. This is definitely um, the legal realm. You could be working in the legal realm. You could be. But this is Libra energy. And interesting, it's telling me to go to your hope and or fear. Now, let's take a look at this. The Justice card, clarified by the King. The King of Swords is a very intellectual, fair. He's very fair. He knows right and wrong. He goes by the law. He definitely, he can be detached from his emotions so that his emotions don't drive his decisions. He does a lot of research, pays attention to details about whatever that is. And at the same time, he's clever. So when he talks to other businessmen, let's see, when he talks to other investors, he's very clever. He's light. It's that Gemini energy. He's very clever. People adore him, love him. And this is the energy that you have when it's regarding this 10 and the 9 of Pentacles. You're going to do things fairly. You're going to do things in a way that you are well aware that will balance out your karma, is what I'm hearing. And you're going to make the decision to take this road of abundance with positivity, with fairness, with diplomacy, and with the King of Swords and having the star on the table as you see yourself. This is Aquarius energy. So with kindness considering others, maybe bringing them along, giving them a few tips as to how to live this abundant life. Now, the Four of Swords is taking a rest. Taking a rest, but taking action after you rest, because with the two, finding the balance, making the decision, moves into the three and taking action with this Knight of Wands. And the star, twice! This could be this lover. If you have found a lover, a divinely guided partner, this is a wish fulfillment, a dream come true. This is what you've been wishing on, wishing upon, maybe even meditating with this four of swords. And now you're taking action with the three of wands. Let's see what this page has to say. A little bit defensive, but because I don't see the image of the individual with that one wand and all the rest of the wands coming at them. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing the seven of wands. The seven of wands is believing in yourself, believing in your ability to learn, to really take 
advantage of the opportunities given to you online. That's what I'm hearing. And resting when you need the rest, not working day and night, resting, resting your mind before you make these wise decisions of the King of Swords. But believing in your magic, I'm hearing your magical abilities in your Empress level, your Empress energy, believing in that, not doubting it. There's no doubt on this table at all. So you're taking action in the near future, taking action. Yeah, towards the King of Pentacles, absolutely. Or is the King of Pentacles backing you up? Let's see. King of Pentacles and the Moon. This is very secret. This is all behind closed doors. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you might be keeping your investments quiet. You might be going deep, deep within the, I want to say, not just the emotional realms, but the subconscious realms. And with that, really finding out how to make your mark here in the world. Let's clarify this star card. We've got a match, the king and the queen of pentacles. A wish fulfillment. It could be the love of your life. Interesting. And a tough decision. Or, I'm really seeing this. You've made your decision, taken action upon it, but this is quieting the mind. This is peace of mind, maybe peace of mind on a Queen of Pentacles, which you know is your divine counterpart. You know it was divinely guided. You love this Queen of Pentacles. Again, very Capricorn energy, as I mentioned at the beginning of this read. The Magician, how other people see you, Sagittarius, in love. They see you as finding your divinely guided love and manifesting it. And it's an equal give and take. What It's a reciprocal. What you give, they give. What you do, they do. It's very balanced with the Justice card. And we've got the Justice card twice. We have got the Major, the Lovers, and we've got the Minor to the Major with the Two of Cups. And you have manifested this, Sagittarius. You have manifested this. This is beautiful. There's not one card on here that tells me that you are not anything but positive, moving forward, you are abundant with the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, with the Lover's card, the Star twice, the Justice card twice, the Moon. Wow, you've got the Two of, of Wands twice. This is your hope and your fear. Oh, that everything is going to work out. You know it's all going to work out. Look, you're holding the world in the palm of your hand and the Magician twice. Sagittarius. This is, uh, you know what, I never want to be um, underwhelmed. I never want to be, oh yeah, this is a Sagittarius read. No, this is magical to me. When the cards speak, I shuffle these cards. You see me shuffle. And then I read. I'm not a shuffler in between. And I, I'm not judging those that do that. That's how they read their cards. And they shuffle in between. They shuffle in between every team, each card. I don't do that. I shuffle once and I read the deck. So when these cards come out where I've got two star cards, I've got two justice, these are majors, I've got two magicians, I am in awe. I am just, like I love reading cards, and then when I go take time to edit this, I am amazed again, and again, <laughs> at the cards. Seven of Wands, which I have twice, oh my God. <laughs> which I have twice. Let's clarify the seven of wands. You're working, 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 working. You could be working with a smaller group with just a three of pentacles, right? Oh my goodness. You're working on, and you know that you have got, and I would normally say with the ace of wands, it's a new beginning. Yes, you are the golden opportunity. Yes. But I see today on your table that you see the opportunities. You eat actually through the night of the moon, the, the, through the moon, in at, at the light of the moon, almost at night, 
you see the opportunities. There's an opportunity. And you go online, take it. There's an opportunity. There is an opportunity. You take it, you take it. Whether it be in investments, I'm really feeling investors in here. And you take it and you take it and you take it. And so each pentacle is right here. There's a pentacle. There's a pentacle. There's a pentacle. And then you sit on it and then you invest in it. You just wait. And then in a couple days, months, years, wow, look at what it's brought me. Look at the abundance right up to the empress. <gasps> Sagittarius. Oh, I love this. Bottom of the deck, clarifying the Empress. Look at that. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. So, if you've watched me before, and I know this is a brand new channel, you know that when a clarifier comes up, it clarifies by telling me to go back to the original deck card out of the first 10 that I lay out. So the page of swords is clarified by the seven and the seven is you are working with a very tight small group that you trust and learning with the page of swords, learning how to invest, learning, learning, learning. As I said, you don't need an investor. You don't need a financial advisor. You are learning how to do this online because the page of swords really speaks to me as a reader about online interactions, online learning, online. Okay. So then when the page of swords clarifies the emperance and the emperance is abundance and birthing something, as I said, the, you could learn so much that now you are teaching. The student has become the master and you are teaching how others can find the abundance, find the opportunities, find that those golden opportunities to invest in. It could very well be that you're investing in gold. China and Russia are. <laughs> so why not Sagittarius, right? And there it is. Wow. Now we have the Four of Swords twice. Resting, meditating. And with that meditation, really seeing those opportunities. Wow, Sagittarius. Ooh, I see 74. Let's do, let's get some angel numbers on this. I see 74. Wow. I love being amazed. I do. <laughs> I love it when the cards speak and I'm amazed. I love it. 74. Angels want you to spend more time sharing your plans with them so that they are better able to support you. And this is the position of the past. So you could very well have figured this out and you are already doing this. I'm just saying. Three. And then I see 32. And let's do 23. But let's do three first because he's all by himself down there. Three. You are on the road to growth and expansion. Exactly what the Empress talks about. The path is unfolding with perfect timing perfect timing and when it comes to investing isn't that what it's all about 30 let's do 23 first you are being guided by ascended masters at this time trust the path and you have chosen the path with the two of wands two times you are you've chosen a path and trusting trust the path you are on is perfect for your situation Sagittarius you know this Let's do 32. Oh, I'm loving this. 32, your relationships with yourself and others are being supported by your angels, which is this divinely guided love. Call on them for as much help as you need and know it's never too much. I think you already know this, Sagittarius. I see 26 and I see 22. I wanna do 22 first. Let's do the doubles first. And then I see 222. Okay, let's do that. 22. You are at a crucial point in your journey, which will help you understand the relationships and spiritual assignments that will support your growth. Let's do 222 next. You have the ability to lift up the hearts of all those around you like an angel on earth. You were born to shine as both star cards from both of my decks indicate. You see yourself as the star. So yes, you want everyone to be abundant. Absolutely. I agree with you, Sagittarius. Let's do 226. It's right here. I see 226. Remember that whatever is missing in a relationship is yours to bring to it. That is a beautiful message. Don't focus on the problem. Be the solution. <gasps> yes. Let's do 228. I see 228. That's a good one. 228, the universe is reminding you 
that your journey and experiences are led by your intentions and prayers. Get focused on your desired outcome to experience it. Get focused on your desired outcome. Well, isn't that the Ten of Pentacles? Isn't it though? Yeah. All right, I see 33. I'm seeing the doubles now. Let's do 33. Ooh, you're got one, Master Jesus, and his angels are with you. This is a sacred time for growth and healing. Now with that, Sagittarius, any numbers that you see on my table that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. If you have a book, take a look. If you don't, go to the description box below, click on the link and grab yourself a book for future or previous reads. Now, when Master Jesus is mentioned in the angel numbers, I have to go to my Jesus Calling book. I should put this in the description box below. I will. I will put this in. I'll add this into your video. Um, and I read the day that I'm recording this. I read the Jesus message. So let's go to today. And this is for you. I am the risen one who shines upon you always. You worship a living deity, not some... All, oh, this is... Oh, not some. Okay, I'm dyslexic. So when they split the word and go to the next line, it takes me a while. So, ID Ultra. I'm just gonna not. I'm, I'm just gonna skip that word because I can't even. Okay, so let me restart. I am the risen one who shines upon you always. Your, you worship a living deity, not some man-made image. Your relationship with me is meant to be vibrant and challenging as I invade more and more areas of your life. Do not fear change, for I am making you a new creation with old things passing away and new things continually on the horizon. When you cling to old ways and the sameness, you resist my work within you. I want you to embrace all that I am doing in your life, finding your security in me alone. It is easy to make an idol of routine, finding security within the boundaries you build around your life. Although every day contains 24 hours, every single one presents a unique set of circumstances. Don't try to force feed today into yesterday's mold. Instead, ask me to open your eyes so you can find all I have prepared for you in this precious day of life. And I believe that you already know this, Sagittarius. Open your eyes. Well, aren't you the seer? So Jesus knows that you see him, that you feel the abundance of the divine, of source, of God. And you're tapping into that abundance. You're seeing it within yourself. You're seeing the own, your own spark. Because when I see the star twice, you recognize and see the spark of God in you. And with that, when you have an abundant spiritual, you have an abundant inner world, it manifests as we see with the magician twice. It manifests in the outside as within as without, as above, so below, right? <gasps> and with that, that's what I see for you, Sagittarius. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.